Hi guys! So this is my final Halloween tutorial of yeah 2016, and I was like, what should my last video be? What should the last Halloween tutorial be? So I was like, okay, I need some inspiration. I went on Google and I was just like Halloween makeup, whatever. And then I stumbled across a makeup look that I was like, this is actually kind of cool. And then I was like, this reminds me of the makeup from the Crow with Brandon Lee. Oh, that too soon. And I've, I've, I've loved that. I love the first movie. It has been, what is it, two, three more. And yeah, it doesn't beat the, the original one. And yeah, I was like, if it was the girlfriend that arose from the dead, she probably wouldn't want it like this with sort of like it was kind of wingier with the, with the makeup and yeah, having a teardrop shape. And it was just like this it would be her. And yeah, she was obviously a blonde, but I'm like, black. Black, 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 friendly, and I'm just like this is just it's really simple to do, but it still has an impact. It still has an impact. So if you want to see how I do this, the crow-inspired Halloween makeup, then keep on watching. All right, guys, let's get started. My face is kind of yeah worn out after all the makeup and face paint that I've been using for the past day past few days before my Halloween makeup. So I'm just going to take my vitamin E face mist. That's it. Yeah, this is just hydrating, so let's just give my face a good amount. Oh, so good. Now we're just going to let this dry for a bit. I'm just going to draw out my my eyes. Uh, after all, I'm taking inspiration from the crow. Yeah, so I'm one, so but I'm making the female version. So I want to sort of make it a wing shape up to here. So I'm just I'm covering my. Uh, I'm also going to cover my brows and I'm counting in my brows with that. So I'm just gonna take a white pencil liner and this is um, what is it? Uh, H&M uh, Pure White. Let me see. I am. Um, yeah, I want to make. I want to start here. I'm just following my in, my tear duct line there, and then I'm just going to. I'm making point there, and then I'm just going to follow. Because the eye part is going to be black. I'm just taking small strokes at a time, and then I'm going to end up here. Just sort of made a line from my other part of the eye and up here. And I'll make it a bit pointier and then swoop in like that and then we just follow, follow, follow. And then I'm just going to go in. Maybe it would be better if I've seen you and I can do that with the other eye. Last time I've seen that. Hmm. Oh, I'm not satisfied with that. There it was. So it's actually kind of like a leaf shape, but we're gonna make it more effortless. Now I'm just going to zoom in so you can see the other eye while I'm time lapsing it. There. Now I'm just going to do this side. Like that. Now we're just going to do that, uh, and I can also, yeah, readjust some things. So I'll just do it as this. Now, obviously, when we think of the crow, it's a white face. It's like a clown makeup. So I'm taking my Snazzy Roo face paint in classic white, and I'm taking my Real Techniques Essential Foundation brush. I'm just going to wet it a bit. And as you could, as you saw, it's very clean. I just cleaned it actually. Now I'm just going to pop it in to the face paint and 
paint it on. Let's leave it at like that. We're not going down the neck because when we see the movie, Brandon Lee doesn't have any, uh, what is it, face paint or very white uh, foundation on his neck. It's just his face. So we'll leave it at like that. While the face paint is drying, I'm just going to prime my entire lid area for my black eyeshadow. So I'm using my um, NYX HD eyeshadow base. and blend that up. Now we're obviously going to only use one on eyeshadow and that's black. I'm taking sugar pills bulletproof and I'm taking my Red Techniques my Red Techniques um, base shadow brush for this. Now this have a tendency to fall out so I'm just going to Dab it down into the shadow. And I'm just dabbing on. Thing where cool there it's okay if it's a bit messy because that makeup the makeup that he's wearing is messy after all so yeah I think it will cool there now I'm just going to line my eyes as you we don't want any flesh tone colors I'm taking my Maybelline lasting drama 24 hour automatic gel pencil in black for that. And also with the pencil, I'm, I think when it it is sort of a clown makeup, so I think I'm going to, going to draw maybe yeah a tear drop on each side of the eye, like maybe it from out here from the outer corner right here. Drop shapes are so easy to do. No, actually, one is fine, so we leave it that like, like a kind of like a beauty mark. Off camera, I'm going to comb my lashes and apply some mascara because we can actually still see my lashes. So, this one is my Max Factor Gloss Lash Effect Waterproof Mascara in Black Brown. I'll be right back. Moving on to the lips, I have lip balm moms, I'm just going to blot them. Now he has black lips, so I'm just I'm going to outline my lips with my eyeliner and then I'm going to show you what kind of lip color I'm going to wear. So let's do this. I 
then again, it's okay if it's a bit messy with the lips. So let's move on to what lip color I'm wearing. I'm taking one of my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams and this is in Transylvania. So it's such a lovely color. You've seen me using it before, so on with it. And there, we're done with the makeup, now I'm just going to put my black wig on and then I will be back. And there we go, my black wig, and I actually, when I just watched in my big mirror, I was like, wow, this is like Brandon Lee, but it's still more female. So if we imagine that it was his girlfriend that arose, arised from the dead and all that, oh man, that would also have been epic. And I bet she would have worn it like this with a teardrop also. So, yeah. Uh, well, th that's it for my uh, The Crow inspired Halloween makeup. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So remember to subscribe, comment and like this video if you like it. It really helps me a lot. And then you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and on my blog. And then I will see you in my next video. Take care guys. Happy Halloween!